Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about why rabbits cannot live in hutches and why they are actually dangerous to rabbits and uh, greatly decrease their lifespan. So um, the first thing I wanted to mention is just how cramped they are. I mean, they're so small and they're just so bad for rabbits, especially because um, our domestic bunnies are actually very social in the wild. They, um, yes, in the wild, they're very social. They should not live by themselves because it's really difficult for them to be happy. They can get depressed. And um, all this stress will basically decrease their lifespan. I believe the number for like the average years rabbits can live if they live outside is like three years. That's usually how old they get. And the actual lifespan of a rabbit, like an indoor rabbit, is about 10 to 12 years. They can live quite a long time and keeping them outdoors decreases that lifespan. Especially because of things like there are toxic plants they could eat, like oak leaves and clovers. Like you think that the rabbits can eat those, but... They actually might give them stomach troubles and lead to, like, GI stasis. Um, it's harder to interact with the rabbits, um, especially because hutches are so small and cramped. It's not like you can get in there and actually bond with them, which might lead to especially someone, maybe, like, a very young child who, like, doesn't want to do the work anymore, doesn't want to change the water, kind of just forgets that the rabbit exists, I guess. Um, also, there's the danger of predators that exist if you leave the rabbit outside. Stuff like owls and hawks and like even like dogs and cats. Any animal could really just terrify your rabbit. It doesn't even have to physically get to them to be able to kill them. Which is just really like heartbreaking to think about because so many people keep their rabbits outdoors when there are like countless dangers. There's even dangers in the designs of hutches. Like hutches that have wire bottoms can actually give your rabbits bumblefoot because they're not like cats. They don't have padded feet. So they really need um they really need like smooth surfaces to be able to go on. It's very dangerous if they don't have that. And also outdoors can have really extreme temperatures. And that's something that rabbits just aren't accustomed to because I know a lot of people go, oh, they're like the ones that live around here. But um, our domestic rabbits are actually related to like the European rabbit, meaning that they are not related to any of the cottontails or like jackrabbits you see in the U.S. Um, and even for every other reason on this list, even if you live somewhere where the European rabbit may be native, it's not a good idea to keep them outside. Uh, it's just, um, it's very dangerous for them and it's more important that they live inside and it's easier to bond with them and to create an interaction and care for them when they are indoors. They will live a longer and happier life where they will actually be thriving. Um, I wanted to bring this up because I don't, I see a lot of people that keep rabbits and hutches. They see them as these easy pets that can just go outside and kind of be forgotten about. And that's just not the case because they're very sweet animals. I actually, um, I have two rabbits. They're brothers. We rescued them from a hutch because this lady on Craigslist, she was one of these. Uh, no, I bought a female rabbit. I think she had a female rabbit and then I like, put it in a hutch and she like forgot about it. And then it came like, and then it was accidentally pregnant when she brought it and she was giving them away for like free. I think in the description she said she was even giving them away as snake food. It was horrible. Don't know why I'm laughing. Uh, that's not why I'm not laughing, but you know what I mean. Um, but I think a lot of people don't realize how amazing rabbits are and how when you keep them inside, the experience is so much better. And um, I definitely would like to make a video in the future talking about how um, like a good indoor rabbit setup just maybe helps some people set something like that up. But it is important to keep in mind that rabbits cannot live in hutches ever. <laughs> So yeah, I hope this maybe actually helped you learn something. Sorry if I talked a little fast. It's my first time doing like a voice recording. I was a little anxious to do this. Um, I don't know what I think I want to keep on doing it in the future. I'll have to see. <laughs> it's really weird because I hate hearing my voice back. So it's like it's going to be a lot less fun to edit videos. But it'll probably be easier to understand. Uh, I'm probably going to keep putting like subtitles or captions on. I don't know. I'll have to figure something out and see. Just because I want everyone to be able to enjoy the videos, and I also like having subtitles on all my videos, just because they're easier to watch, in my opinion, especially if you miss something or if you're talking a little fast. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video about why rabbits cannot live in hutches. Please consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.